My name is Eric Struck, and I'm famous on TikTok. So I'm sure you guys all know what TikTok is, but for all of you who don't, basically you take Vine, take Musical.ly, they both died and put them together, and uh, yeah, that's what TikTok is. It's basically the new Vine. Now I'm constantly being asked, how did I get famous on TikTok? When did I start TikTok? How did I blow up so quickly? And well, today, I'm gonna tell you. And for all of you guys who don't actually believe me at this point, to put this into perspective, everything that I'm about to tell you are things that I've done to grow to 75,000 fans in about two months. So let's get started. And you know, the first question that I'm gonna answer is why I started TikTok. And to put it simple, I thought it was a joke and I thought it would be funny. Around two months ago, I was sitting downstairs and I thought to myself, huh? What would it like to become TikTok famous? And I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what I was doing. So I decided to make an account. And you know what? The first ever video I posted went semi-viral. To be honest with you, it's not the best video. It's not the funniest video. And it's not the most well edited. But there was one thing that I did. I followed the trend. When you first open TikTok, you're greeted to something called the For You page. This is where all the money is made and this is where you get famous. Basically, it's the same concept as the Explore page on Instagram but this is for TikTok. So the very first thing I did on this app was I started going through the For You page and lo and behold, I found the trend. Basically the trend was putting up these pieces of paper, shooting it and revealing a message. And that's where I came up with this idea. You know, I think I'm a semi-attractive guy. So I'm like, huh, I can make people think that they could shoot the shot with me, but I actually have a girlfriend. So I made this video and lo and behold, it went semi-viral. But I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my heart. Change my state of mind. But love's so hard to find. Now to be honest with you, the video itself isn't that great like I said, but the reason why it went viral is because I took the trend and made it a little bit better. At the time when I made this video, the trend was pretty crappy. All the signs would be like, hey, you're cute, just kidding, you're ugly. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make it funny. And because I made this video just a little bit better, everyone latched onto it, started following my page, and this is where the whole thing started. But to be completely honest with you, there's one problem. This fame won't last forever. So you need to actually do things to keep the people on your page. And at the time, I had no idea this was the case. Basically what I did, I made the video, it went viral. I didn't really post any more videos than when eventually I did, nobody even cared. But then one day I thought to myself, what would be funny? So with a quick Google search and a little bit of Canadian background, I decided I was gonna do some Canadian stereotypes. When I first made them, I really didn't think they'd be that great, but holy, I was wrong. The very first one I posted took off. When I mean take off, I don't mean just go like up a little bit of a hill. This thing blasted off. Within the first day, it had 20,000 views. Within the second day, it had 100,000. And the reason why it did is because it caused controversy. Hey bud, just your favorite Canadian here. You know what? It's halftime during the hockey game. I just got off the ice. We're gonna get some Timmies. And you know what? I saw some beauties up in the stands. And you know what? Next time I score, I'm gonna dangle Slank and Sally and I'm gonna get their number. You know that. Now I'm not saying this is the best way to grow, but it definitely works. For all you people who are actually on TikTok, a great example of this is the orange guy. Everybody hates him right now because all he does is wear this stupid orange makeup, but because it's controversial and he milks the trend, he's famous. Now back to the whole concept of my videos and the Canadian ones. Essentially, all the Americans thought it was true, so they started commenting. All the Canadians got upset and they called me an American and they started commenting. So for the next five days or so, I kept making these Canadian stereotype videos over and over and over. And within five days, I grew from 5,000 followers to 30,000 followers. The only issue with this is it's kind of hard to find something that you're the first one to do. But if you could do it, I can guarantee you, you guys are gonna see results like I did. Now let's get into the third way I figured out how to grow on TikTok. So the third way to actually grow on TikTok is you have to fit into one of these categories. You have to be funny, you have to be good looking, you have to be aesthetically pleasing, or you have to do a lot of stupid stuff to get famous. And basically what I did is I fit into all four of those categories, but maybe not so much the attractive one, but all the other ones for sure I did. So the first thing I'm gonna cover is how to be aesthetic. All you have to do is search hashtag aesthetic, click on it on TikTok, and then you're gonna see a bunch of videos appear. All you have to do from there is find a video that you're actually able to replicate and do it, but do it a little bit better. Basically, if I run out of content for a day, I will boil a pot of water, 
put it on the stove, throw it in the air, and I'll get around 10,000 likes for throwing water in the air in slow motion. I'm not kidding. If you guys do this and use hashtag aesthetic and spam hashtags in the comments, you'll literally get on the For You page and get viral. Now, I'm sure you guys think I'm joking, but I'm really not. I'm dead serious. This is all you have to do to be aesthetically pleasing. Now the next, okay, I just realized I'm chewing gum. <coughs> so the next thing I'm gonna cover is being attractive. Basically, as a guy, you're born attractive or you're screwed. So there's no middle ground. But as a girl, you're either born attractive, you can wear lots of makeup, you can show your boobs, show your butt a little bit, and that's basically that whole category wrapped up. So now we've reached the final categories, everybody. We've reached comedy and stupidity. Basically, these are the two categories that make up the most of TikTok, and that's where I fall in especially. Basically, all you have to do is something absolutely stupid for views. So I'll show you guys a great example of this right now. You can literally grab two pans, hit them together, and you'll probably get a lot of views. All you gotta do is that. It's pretty stupid, it's really dumb, but you know what? It's comedy. Now, realistically, you can't do that, but there are actually some cases where people have gone viral by doing something stupid like that. There's one big problem with a comedy and stupidity niche, and the whole issue is terms of service. Now, I don't know if I referred to this earlier, but what terms of service means is if your video is slightly inappropriate, you swear in it, there's something offensive, there's a gun, there's violence, it's gonna get taken down. Now to avoid the whole terms of service cloud looming over your head at all times, all you gotta do is come as close as you can to not breaching terms of service. For example, instead of using an airsoft gun in a video, use a Nerf gun. Instead of stabbing a knife into a power outlet, just don't stab a knife into a power outlet. Don't do that. Or pretend to eat a Tide Pod instead of actually doing it. I would know because I literally showed the word Tide in my video and it got taken down. Now I assume most of you guys are actually from TikTok who are watching this video, so I hope you guys actually learn something and you can apply it to your own videos and I hope you guys actually grow on TikTok because it's pretty cool. And yeah, make sure you guys go follow me on TikTok, subscribe to me on YouTube, like this video, and I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna film another video on how to actually make money on TikTok and why that's a good thing and how to do that kind of stuff, but yeah. Anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.